going on, y'all? It's your boy, Funk TZ. I got some domination gameplay on the map and infection, and this is definitely a comeback. Bring your body back from the loss, coming back from the dead, because I thought we wasn't going to win this game, man. I thought it was all over. I was just ready to just rage quit, but no, sir, Bob. They wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm fooling around. Now, how's everybody doing today, man? Yes, like I said, I got some domination on, on infection. Your boy goes 42 and 2. I take that first death that you've seen at the beginning, and I get one more silly death, and I'm not going to die anymore. Uh, this game right here is a perfect example of what I wanted to talk about. I have this thing where people, you know, you got your different play styles. It's kind of what I want to talk about. This is the death right here. This is my last one. You got your couple, three different play styles as far as I'm concerned, right? You got your rusher, your camper, and then you got the crusher. And we can call that uh, tactical moving and uh, holding down an area. All oh, It's all the same. It could be, it, it, it's the same, but it isn't. You got your campers who's going to hold back. Those are the guys. My buddy Mix, so he did a, a, a video about this, and I actually was talking about it with my boy Blood Ransom, but I will leave a link in the description to his channel because I definitely want to give credit to him. He does give a good uh, his good opinion on what he feels like, to, uh, you know, how to raise your KD, your score per minute and whatnot. So I wanted to actually touch on that, um, uh, give my opinion on that. Uh, you know, you got your rusher who's obviously going to be running around. You got your good rushers and your bad rushers. The guys that feed the beast. They're just capping flags, flipping spawns. Yeah, they may have a high score per minute simply because they are capping flags and getting those kind of points. And they're going to obviously have a higher uh, score per minute. But then you got your good rushers who they're going to have a high KD and they're going to have a good high score per minute because... They're smart. They're not feeding the beast. They they're know how to hold down certain areas. They're not actually just rushing around like a chicken with your head cut off. They're actually playing smart and playing tactically. And then you got your in-between. And I will talk about the camper, but you got the one that's in-between, the crusher, who is like a camper and a rusher. These type of people, they're going to hold down a certain area. They're going to maximize that certain area for a, a small amount of time, you know, rather get three or four or five kills. Just depend on if the people keep coming back. And giving you, you know, feeding the beast pretty much. And as a camper, that's what we like. The camper is usually going to have a lower score per minute, but have a high KD. So it just all depends on what kind of what kind of player you want to be. Me personally, I was kind of having an identity crisis. I wasn't sure. You know, your boy's rolling with the camper nation. I had to do a couple cuts in this, and I'm gonna jump right onto the A flag because I'm gonna go ham this round and pick up these points right here. And as a camper, that is what is the most important. Getting these defense, getting the capture kills, and holding back and playing defensive. That's what everybody needs in a 6v6 game. You need your couple people camping, your couple people rushing, and then you need your couple crushers that's gonna run around, and they're gonna hold down certain areas, but not push the pace too hard, and flip the spawns. But then, if that is necessary, you're gonna flip that spawn over to the person that's camping on that back flag that we had, and there goes good. There goes some kills for that camper back there. So everybody gets to eat. Everybody gets to get the score streaks, depending on if you know what you're doing. Now you see what I'm doing in this gameplay. I'm holding it back, holding it down in my certain area, watching my B flag or whatever flag that I tip may be in in that specific time. But at this moment in time, the B flag is what I like to watch. You see my team off on the left side. Watching the A flag, not pushing that spawn, and I'm going to go ahead and maximize this po these points on the B flag. Then I'm going to go right back to my spot and watch what I'm doing. This is a perfect example of what a crusher should be. Now, if I was a rusher, a stupid rusher, I would have been flipped that C spawn already, ran all the way over there, flipped the whole spawn all around. Teammates would have been all discombobulated and everything, and I pick up the Cerberus right now, and this is where I'm going to start getting into my streaks and making sure that I'm going to be able to hold this team back. See, I'm running back to the ace bomb, pick this up, and grab the talent. You know that Crusher knows what he's doing. Like I said, this play style right here, I personally feel like will get you an even spread of score per minute, KD, and in, in any case, a win-loss ratio if you're playing with a full party. Most of the time, I, you know, at say like 50-50, I got either solo or three people in my party that know what they're doing. So my score per minute, it's not extremely high, but it's a little bit higher than your average camper because simply I have been playing as a crusher when we play on my team. I've been, and also different game modes. That's also going to affect your score per minute. 
most definitely because obviously you're playing a different game mode where points are allotted differently points come faster uh, you get your score streak faster it all depends on your score per, uh, on what game mode you play and the play style you play when you're on those game modes I had this dude uh, I don't know what I can't remember what game it was but I joined in the game late I, the team was already getting wrecked and I stayed in for a little bit the guy got I me mean, I think I was like I ended up quitting before I was like eight and five or something like that the dude sent me some stupid message Oh, you stupid, uh, you got a two-point-something KD and a .89 win-loss ratio. Like, started laughing at me, called me a scrub and this, this, and that. I wasn't bothered by that because I know the kind of play style I have, the type of game modes I have. That was at that time. I think my win-loss is a little, I think it might be a, a one, if not a little bit higher. But that's just because I play Domination. I just recently started switching out to TDM, uh playing a little safeguard you know i'm kind of just rotating my my games around and also my win loss is simply because i don't always play in a party you're not gonna see anybody only people that have high win loss ratios are people that play in full parties all the time so i think this misconception of people that have a high kd but a low score per minute is that we're sitting there corner camping and that is the worst possible thing that you could think of because that's not the case if you watch any of my videos or if these guys watch any of my videos they'll see i'm not your average camper and i'm definitely not your average corner camper the corner camper is hated by every everybody and i feel like has given the actual tactical camper that aggressive style camper a bad name because you guys like got guys and i'm gonna say the, the big boys in the camper nation jimmy dean is taken mad rise and hell I, there's other guys that i watch even um like uh wings of redemption He's your kind of your more reserved camper. But Saken and Jimmy, these guys know how to be aggressive campers. They move, they're moving around, holding down certain areas. Moving got you, I mean, it's like a chess game, like they always say, you know. We playing chess, not checkers. I'm gonna keep moving, the, flipping my spot. I'm gonna kill you in one spot, move to somewhere else, and watch you come back and look for me in that spot. Thinking I'm that corner camper, that's gonna be your up, your overall downfall because you got the wrong kind of camper in, in, in your mindset. We in Camper Nation, and I'm telling you, everybody that has this misconception with campers and corner campers is so bad, and it's just, it's starting to kind of hurt my feelings, man, because they don't know how we do it out here, man. They have to say been watching the videos. <laughs> nah, man, I'm serious, though. It is just so funny when people send hate mail to people talking about your win-loss is crap, and I pick up another service, you know, your win-loss is crap, your score per minute is crap. Like, come on now, bro. You know you playing a full party. Ain't no way in hell you're going to have a high score per minute, a high kill-death ratio, and a high win-loss playing by yourself. It's just not going to happen. I don't care who you are. You could be the best player in the world. You, even Mark and Jay. Mark and Jay may be the only person that I've seen, and I don't watch a lot of other YouTube other than a lot of folks in the camper nation, a couple of your inform, informational videos. But Mark and Jay, he may be the only person that does have all three of those stats um, maxed out or as high as they could be being a solo player because I mean Mark just his face it Mark and Jay's a freaking alien I don't care what anybody says that's the only dude unless you're in a full party that's the only time you're gonna have those stats at a really high level in as far as numbers go so for the people that think that you know the campers you're no matter what camper you're talking about it's a corner camper you're wrong the crushing play style it's always been around it's been that smart slower kind of pace player but still kind of moving pushing the pace at the same time and then you got your rusher who not all the time is going to be good but then you'll be that, that handful of guys that are running around crazy non-stop balls to the walls beasting on people and picking up score streaks and playing the obj there's only a handful of those people out there and i think like i said i can go back to mark and jay and say that he is the perfect example of all three combined so that's the end of the video. We end up getting with the win. This is the perfect example of my crushing play style. What I finally decided that I wanted to be in the camper nation. Because, hey, like I said, we need a well-rounded team at all times. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like or a sub. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. What's your favorite play style? It's your boy, Funk TZ. I'm out. Peace. What do we got up there on the top three? Look at that, man. 42 and 2. I should have got first place. <laughs>